This is the Thompson Cast. I am Mel Thompson. In case you were looking at foreign direct investment in the Ukraine, you also need to consider the upcoming elections as a issue that may impact your decision. The European Union has recently said that the upcoming parliamentary elections in Ukraine will be what they call a litmus test of the country's democratic credentials. And the EU has called out the Ukrainian officials and tr try to let them know that the world is watching. The EU in all Western nations want this election to go smoothly and democratically. And if it does not, it would certainly give pause to the foreign direct investor. When you have governments tinkering with the right of people to vote and participate in elections, you have to also wonder what types of policy changes could be implemented without warning on the foreign direct investor. I absolutely believe there's a correlation between democracy and dealing with foreign governments as an investor. You cannot treat your own people unfairly and then not have investors on the outside look at you and believe with 100% certainty that you're going to treat them fairly. This is where the rubber hits the road for Ukraine. If these elections are not free, fair, and democratic, certainly that raises a whole other level of political risk for the foreign direct investor. In other words, how do you know that the market entry rules are not going to change? How do you know the policies implemented as far as trade aren't going to change? How do you know the tax structure is not going to change? It depends on who runs a country, and it depends on what their policies are. And every time you have an election, the political risk is raised. But when you have an election that is not viewed as free, fair, and democratic, it gives real pause to the foreign direct investor, or at least it should. Countries that value the rights and rule of law are countries that value the right and rule of law when it comes to foreign direct investors and the laws that govern trade. When you have countries that try to suppress the vote or manipulate a vote in a way that is good for one side as opposed to another, as opposed to letting the free exchange of ideas dictate the winner and winners and losers in elections, you also create a situation where the outside world will take notice of how you treat the people on the inside. How you treat your own people is the litmus test as to whether or not you will treat people who are not on the inside fairly, particularly people who are pumping money into your economy. Ukraine, in many ways, can be a fascinating and outstanding opportunity for foreign direct investors. China is putting quite a bit of money into agricultural ventures in the Ukraine. These ventures alone are pumping up the economy. China has got enough money to pretty much buy anything they want as far as the rule of law and policy changes in Ukraine. The average person who's a Ukrainian voter does not have this opportunity. The foreign direct investor does not have that type of pull. When you are looking at things from your standpoint as a foreign direct investor, whether you're a business or an individual, you can't use China and its investment, Ukrainian agricultural business, as an example. That's a completely different situation, and it cannot be used as a measurement of whether or not Ukraine is going to change the rules of foreign direct investment in the middle of the game. A better measuring stick, a better litmus test, is absolutely without question these elections. The EU absolutely does have it right. I feel that these elections will give you a clear indication of whether or not the long-term foreign direct investment opportunities in Ukraine are going to be those that are solid and predictable, or if they're going to be the types of changes that are going to be so unstable as to raise the level of political risk to an alarming rate. You cannot have policy changes arbitrarily and capriciously. You cannot have governments that suppress their own people 
that comes to voting and then still have any degree of confidence that you're not going to be on the receiving end of changes when you wake up in the morning. You need to have some degree of stability and confidence. And elections create this type of environment. It creates a certain degree of predictability. And it gives faith to foreign direct investors that there are a set of rules and guidelines that we know are going to stay in place and can be followed. And the only time they will be deviated from is when they are needed to be deviated from due to some type of major disaster or issue. And if that happens, there is a roadmap that they will follow. In other words, you know what's going to happen and how it's going to happen. When you start talking about changes in policy, you don't know what's going to happen. When you start talking about suppressing voter turnout and voter participation, you don't know if it's the first step in a long line of steps that will create a harsh environment for foreign direct investors from the United States. Russia has shown that their policies towards the United States are changing by some of their actions when it pertains to the rights of individuals. It is alarming. It raises the risk as far as foreign direct investors who are not sure how they're going to be received. And it is clear that this type of action by governments is a litmus test, an indicator to foreign direct investors of how they should judge an opportunity. They should not judge it by the overall stability of the country, meaning that, well, the country's been there for a while, it has uh, elections. What type of elections? Are they free? Are they fair? Um, are there true competitions at every possible level? These are the types of things that need to be researched and understood. And they are the way that you can judge whether or not a foreign direct investment is going to be something that is a fly-by-night opportunity, changed in the morning, adjusted at noon, and totally destroyed at night, or if it's going to be something that you can rely on. This has been the Thompson Cast. I am Mel Thompson.